impromptu. <laughs> I had no idea I was going to speak, but Nani asked me. And I'm used to microphones because I've been on KPFA for 35 years. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not used to speaking in front of live people. I'm behind a microphone in the studio with no one out there, right? But I figure if my son and these strikers can show the courage that they've had, I mean, come on. a number, number of reasons to, to be up here and speak. A number of them. Let me list one. And one of the reasons that motivated me. We have an Asian American mayor. We have many Asian American supervisors. We have a large Asian American population in this city. The mayor is a disgrace. Yeah! of the supervisors. I know in the progressive community, many progressives were celebrating a new progressive majority on the, on the board of supervisors. But I ask you, because some of them have visited the site, I ask you, what good is a prog progressive majority if they all say they have no power to do anything? Right? And we know that's not true. We know that's not true. They appoint a number of members of, of the police commission. So there's a lot of things they can do, right? Another thing, so that prompted me, as a Japanese American who was born in a U.S. concentration camp for Japanese Americans during World War II. And my son, Elich, has, <laughs> as soon as he was old enough to speak or understand spoken language. He's known that. And that has informed his consciousness and his spirit. He's Ooh. never forgotten that. <laughs> Another thing, with the racist taxi that has been revealed, a number of those cops were Asian Americans. So in addition to the mayor and what we have in the supervisors, the texting scandals, I thought it was important for people to see an antidote to that in an Asian American. Because I don't see enough here. I don't see enough here. But big ups to Asians for black lives. In fact, I hear they're holding it down while we're here. They're holding the, uh, the site down, right? So I just want to express my... Uh, my pride as a father and my son. You should be, Art. And I'm so proud of you, and, and I'm so happy and inspired to meet, to have met so many of you this past 13 days. And uh, this has been uh, quite an experience. Everyone knows that whether it's at KPFA or I'm a school teacher, I teach kindergarten at Harvey Milk Civil Rights Camp. <laughs> This is my uh, 17th and final year. I'm retiring in uh, about three or four weeks, I guess, right? <laughs> At both sites, or wherever arena I've been in, I've been an extremely private person. Okay? So, uh, someone just told me right now, it's Fenya, Fernando Torres. He says, I didn't know you had a bad son, you know? <laughs> a lot of people don't know that, because I'm very private, but this thing, this whole strike has taught me a lot. That I need to be less private and show some real pride in uh, people like my son Helix and all the others. Here. And so, I don't want to go on too much more, but, but you all know this that this struggle to fire Chief Sir is just part of a struggle for the heart and soul of this city. That's what it is. And you all know that. And so there's struggles on many fronts, and all of you, I'm sure, are involved in some, some aspect of that. So I salute you all. Power to the people.